for the past 23 or so years, I've served on the U.S. Court of Appeals for the D.C. Circuit. One of the most important methods of preserving the integrity of an appellate court is faithfulness to our precedent. The only part of a panel decision that is binding on a future panel is its holding. Uh, well, that's what brings me back to law school. Um, in my first year, it all began in elements, elements of the law. I vividly remember the early discussions in that class about holdings. What is a holding? How do you distinguish a holding from other aspects of an opinion? But it wasn't just in elements. Uh, I remember in torts, uh, when Harry Calvin would discuss cases with us, or in constitutional law uh, with Phil Curlin, or criminal law with Frank Allen. Uh, I had no idea then that, that uh, w what seemed like an abstract, but nonetheless intellectually interesting process would become so critical to, um, to the job that I now have on the D.C. Circuit. I had no idea at that point where I was, I was going uh, for my career. No one really does. And so I think the most important thing is, you know, that first year is very carefully designed to expose students to a broad range of important legal skills. And you don't know which skills you'll need or in which combination. So, I mean, the best thing is to learn them all as carefully as you can. That first year is just an extraordinary learning opportunity for people.